कैमरा कैन रो हाई सो हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल थ्रू आउट दिस पेंडेमिक एंड देन टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू ऑल एट आर पेरी फील एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द वे हाउ वी प्लाउ द फील एंड डू द प्लान्टेशन वर्क सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन बिकॉज इवन फॉर माई सेल्फ इट्स गोन बी माई फर्स्ट टाइम एक्सपीरियंसिंग uh plowing the field as well as the rice uh, the paddy plantation so i hope you all guys uh, will enjoy watching this video and please uh, join me in this video from the beginning till the end so that we will learn together and if there are things which i miss out uh, to say or to speak about or to show in this video you please kindly a mention share your views share your knowledge in the comment section below feel free to share okay so let's do it so here is the view of our paddy field you can have a look at it it's beautiful calm and green everywhere and i'm really in love with this beautiful view of our paddy field It really look fresh as well right after the rainfall So these are the place where we are sowing the paddy and then it took around a month to sprout it out and then here is my uncle uh, pulling out the paddy for the transplantation. Okay. So so from this sowing place we are going to transfer it there at the field. And then before the plantation begins, we start the plantation, we used to cut off the tip of the paddy like this with knife and we used to cut it off so that it will grow well. So these are the portion where the paddy is are transplanted from the sowing area here as you can see and we st uh, still need to cover the whole terraces here the whole field for the plantation here as you can see uh, we have engaged two women for the plantation And you know the work here in the paddy field it looks very simple but it is not because uh, it requires a lot of hard work dedication as well as uh, the experience and a well trained one even the women out there uh, she has started doing this plantation work uh, uh, at the age of 14 i've just asked her so now she might be around 50 or 48 something like that look at the speed of the hands those hands are really amazing and god's gifted one i should say yes I think if we train them for boxing also <laughs> the hands will quite suit it when we look at the way how it moves So right now uh, here I have uh, a paddy in my hand and 
I'm going to start the plantation work and this is going to be my first time experiencing this plantation. Okay, so let's do it. Here you can notice the difference between having the experience and not having the experience with the speed of my hand uh, to that of the women whom I have shown earlier and you know uh, while planting we also need to keep in mind uh, about the direction of the wing we need to bend the paddy in the direction of the wing and not opposite to it because if we plant it in the opposite direction then the wind will carry it away the paddy or it will blow them down so we should keep that in mind and now here is my uncle uh, placing the plow at the neck of our female buffalo and getting ready for the plowing so let's look at it Here in our place, in this hilly area, uh, we usually start the uh, plowing the field uh, by the month of uh, June and ends it probably by July. And we usually plow the field only once in a year because uh, we are having a scarcity of water supply and we are depending mostly on the rain and so we prefer to plow the field in these monsoon seasons and then in comparison to that of the Punjab, Haryana and all they usually plow uh, three to two times in a year and with the help of uh, modern technique and advanced uh, machines tractors, water pumps and all but here since uh, we are lacking all those uh, equipments uh, we are totally depending on our human power as well as with the help of the buffalo and uh, the natural resource the rain so the work could not move fast as we wish but this is what we are bound to do. <laughs> so right now in this scene, I'm going to show you the process of leveling the mud, uh, which we call it as moi. Uh, we did this uh, with the help of plow and uh, bamboo attached to it, and. We can also do this with the help of uh, a buffalo by uh, placing the plow at the neck of the buffalo. And this is how we do when the buffalo is not available. Uh, we did it with our own manpower. It is really very tiring. <laughs> 